taking off like a Boeing. If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade. Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid. Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused. We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus. It's all about the price, just watch it move. Manage your risks so you don't lose. First hour of trading is all we need. Focus on the patience and forget about greed. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Happy Friday. The bell has rung. Markets are mixed this morning down the red. NASDAQ flat. That's some P up 18. VIX down a little under a percent. I was going to um, put on a 1 DTE, but in the last 15 minutes or so, the VIX has come down. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. Kind of see what the VIX does here out of the gates. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a little technical difficulties at the start there. Um, <laughs> what I didn't do was... I still had the Zoom website up from yesterday, and so I hadn't refreshed it. So I was entering the Zoom link from the 17th. <laughs> so it's like, oops, got to refresh it. Oh, yeah, VIX is up. So I'm going to look at a 1DTE. I'm going to give it a minute here and just make sure we're not in a, in a flush. All right, so I got filled on my one DTE. So I'll post that. Netflix is up 8% today after earnings.
So a little bit of flush out of the gates here. All right, so we'll look for some big volume here for volume runners. Coinbase with a big push up. Netflix back up to all time highs. Usually on Friday, I'm just getting in a couple trades and then getting out. There's usually lower volume which we're seeing here look at apple and amazon meta all of them Yeah, just no volume. So we'll be looking for mighty 90s. And potentially continuation runners. Yeah, but it's opposite direction. They got to be the same color. Yeah, really low volumes. Teeny tinies. VIX dropping now.
Yeah, coin did get a volume bar, but it's got to be uh same direction as the same color as the first when it's that second bar. Ah, wow, one DTE up eleven percent already. Baba. Yeah, not seeing anything in the bottom. Netflix, a little bit of a pullback after hitting all time highs. I usually don't trade. These strategies, if the if it's the day of earnings or the day after, the Nasdaq went through highs of day, and S and P is starting to climb back up. Interesting. A lot of nothing right now. VIX up, or I'm not VIX. Uh, my 1DT is up 16% already. Potential Mighty 90 short and Boeing. Uh, today we trade the seven DTE, so don't forget that. For these strategies, we don't do the zero. So Boeing's going to get a mighty 90 short. I would trade the 155 puts. Let's see if I get filled at four bucks. All right. Come on. Ah. It's a good mighty 90. See that price push?
I had an order in at four bucks and I saw it at four oh five. Now it's coming down, darn it. Canceling my Boeing. Missed it by a nickel. Missed it by a nickel. But in terms of, you know, if you're, if you're learning if you, and, and, you know, you want to, you want to, when you look at different stocks and you, you know, it's awesome when people post suggestions in the discord, but for the mighty 90, if you, you know, you, you want to see that volume separation, that little pop, and then you want to see a price push with it. So if it doesn't have the price push, then it wouldn't be as of an mighty 90. It's popping back up, so maybe I'll get back in. Gonna get filled at four ten now. I'm not gonna go any. I'm not gonna chase it any more than that. Build a 410 in Boeing or Mighty 90. Do that a half at 450. Let's see. Let's put Boeing on here. So in a Boeing Mighty 90, looking for two consecutive red bars. S&P coming back down. Great to have a little back and forth action today. So we got one red bar out of Boeing. Man, yeah. Just Amazon, Meta, Apple, Roku, Microsoft, like all of these. Every, every stock on this page here, except the Boeing I just put on there, is a no trade in terms of volume runners or mighty 90s because there is no volume.
Let's see what zero DTE options are like for SPX. Pretty narrow. Get maybe forty five. That'd be pushing it. Yeah, before you get forty five. Kind of a tight range here on this push down in Boeing, so can need it to drop a little further. That's a Boeing trying to give us two red bars, but that range is pretty tight, so I have not hit 10% yet. So I'll most likely be closing Boeing here after the second red bar. See these two, these two red bars in Boeing. It hasn't even come down a point. That's why I haven't hit ten percent. I'm going to go ahead and close half my Boeing here. Fill it at 430 to close half. Uh, we're getting two red bars. I was going to leave the other half just to see if we get a runner to the downside here. So you can close your Boeing. That's the rules. I'm just going to leave half on here to see if it wants to push down one more time. Starts to bounce. I'll close it. I got to order at 450 to close another Boeing. It's just not moving. Come on, push down the lows of day. Give us a little extra on this mighty 90. Filled at 450 to close another one of my Boeings. Closed 
close another at 480. So getting a little bonus here out of mighty 90. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and close them all on this extra down move. But at 460. So nice mighty 90 there. Got a little bit of extra. Man, just nothing, nothing in terms of volume. Where? Yeah, potentially it's consolidating, that's for sure. Um, it's in an extremely tight range. But uh, in terms of price movement, yeah, push up, a little consolidation. So that could be, if you want to jump in there, that, that that's a possibility. One DTE is up 18%. Coinbase with a little bit of a mighty 90. I would like to see a little more volume pop there, but if it pushes up, it'd be a good time to get in. Yeah. And coin is super juiced. See, coin, I would trade the two twelve point five puts. 
So at 8.35. So jumped in coin there on a mighty 90. And I would close half at 9.10. Looks like Coinbase man just hit all time highs. Put that up here. Yeah, Roblox is just too small to trade anymore. Yeah, Netflix had earnings yesterday, so I don't, I don't really trade. These strategies on the day of or the day after earnings. A lot of times you see it consolidate the entire day right there. So Coinbase getting another mighty 90 and pushing to highs of days. So still hasn't pushed up enough for me to add to it yet. Yeah, Roblox definitely like the, it's got the price push and it's got the volume. Maybe the seven DTs. Yeah, seven DTs aren't as bad. Because I get, you know, I like to look for at least a dollar. All right, so let me jump in some roadblocks at the 40.5 put. Filled at 105. Definitely a good looking Mighty 90. Good spot on that, Ken. When you, when you get like one or two DTE, then. Square or uh, Roblox is often too small, but since we're using seven DTE, it got to my one dollar. I would close half at one twenty. Uh, yeah, I had Netflix on my screen, but I took it off because um, I'm in a trading coin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Just give me time here. Chess master. It's Roblox, R O B L O X. I'll use volumes, just nothing. One DT is up twenty two percent. Coin gets, I might add in coin here in a bit if it gets up any higher. NDX going through highs of day. Vic's really coming down. It's not going to do us much good for premiums today for TLC. I would add to my coin at seven fifty. Go to seven fifty to add to coin. Get out of half my coin at eight thirty five. I'm gonna lower my Roblox to a dollar fifteen instead of a dollar twenty. Close half. Yeah, Netflix still climbing. You just never know what you're going to get with those. Sometimes they'll, the day after earnings, where they're up like that, they may take some profit. To, um, there may be some uh, people taking profits and then it drops. Be right back. All 
right? Wing base coming down for us. I need about a dime and I'll hit 25% on my one DTE. Yep. Roku, really nice volume here. Really tight price range. But definitely a mighty 90 volume wise. And see, here's a problem with Roblox. These types of stocks are smaller, like the range is so tight. So that's like what we would be dealing with in Roku right now. It's just hard to book profits. That's why you don't see me trading very much. Roblox is coming down. I'd like to at least get 10% here. A nickel away on my 1DT. I'm going to be closing my Roblox here. <clears throat> Not quite at 10% yet. Trying to, close, trying to close Roblox at a buck fifteen. Ah, that's what's hard with these, man. Still at a buck eleven. So got a little bit, little winner. Thanks to Ken. All right, so last trade I'm in is coin. And just need one more red bar. And I'll probably call it a day with these strategies. Build at 835 to close half of my coin. And that, my friends, is the power of adding. Be right back.
All right, looks like Coinbase popped back up on us, darn it. Yeah, Square ended up taking off. That would have been a good one if anybody entered that one. Bill, 590 on my one DTE. Box should have left a little bit on. S&P up 10, NASDAQ up, up 125, Dow down 141. I've got one trade left today for these strategies, and it's coin. Off the target, my one DTE. All right, going back up to highs of day, so I certainly don't like that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump off so I can start focusing on TLC before the uh, premiums get so small. It looks like it's just been chopping right out of the gates. There's been no no push in either direction. It's been an 11 point range since the second bar. So probably time to throw on a TLC trade. So with Coinbase, I'm just gonna wait for my two red bars. I will post in the day trading chat channel when I close it. So everybody have a good day. I'll see you during power hour. Peace.